y'all. Before we get started, I just want to take a second and wish each of you a very happy International Cherry Pit Spitting Day. It is International Cherry Pit Spitting Day, a great holiday we should all be celebrating. What I'm going to do today in terms of acrylic pouring is a chameleon pour. Now this is something I'm super excited about. I have never done it. Hopefully what I will end up with is a painting that has a reptile skin look. Check out Jen Neal's video she posted this week. She did a tutorial uh, inspired by work done by an Instagram artist who I believe calls herself Chameleon Jones. Not positive. I'll put that in the video description and right down here somewhere on the video. So basically what it's going to look like is hopefully reptile skin. So it'll have a very uniform uh, look of cells all the way down, all very colorful. I will dip this comb into silicone oil and then make lines of the uh, cells. So we'll see how that goes. So the colors I'm going to use in this chameleon pour are all the colors I've had mixed for for a long time, for like two weeks. It's uh, They're all Liquitex Basics I got on that crazy sale. It was 75% off this super expensive wonderful paint. So I still have a lot of that mixed. They're bright, bright colors. I thought about doing a puddle pour, which will be one of my next videos, but I'm going to try this chameleon pour. So anyway, eat some cherries, spit some pits, do some painting. That's what I'm getting ready to do. First thing I'm going to do is lay the colors down for a swipe. This is a these are the colors I'm using. They'll be listed in the video description. How I mix paint is also listed in the video description. I'm not showing that in this video. There are other videos I have done that show how I mix paint. So check those out if you're interested. I'm going to swipe with this metallic black. And then I have all these colors. Uh, before I do that, I've already done this, but... I want to make sure that these pretty chameleon cells, hopefully they'll be pretty, don't slide off. So I made sure that it was level and actually it's not level. So I'm going to need to lift up this end a little bit. Okay, that's level that way, and it says it's level this way. paper towel, damp rather, and uh, I'm not expecting cells because there's no silicone. I will expect those after I start doing the dip, the chameleon dip. Okay. Make sure it all... All right. 
right, that's cool looking. Spot on treadmill silicone. Now that's a lot of paint on there. Um, that's not going to get tilted. It's just so, uh, but that's okay. Hopefully this is an experiment. Unfortunately, I didn't have um, smaller canvases to, you know, a proper experiment size canvas. I, I'm running low on canvases. I need to restock. All right. So, I've just put some silicone down there. I'm going to dip and see, I just got the tips of that. And I think I'll start here. Hold on. Okay, it's not quite, quite working. Okay. It's not working, y'all. What, what, what did I put my fingers in there? Damn it. I keep dipping my finger in it. I think that's what's happening here. Well, now that just looks like utter crap. So, it's not working. That was a lot of paint. I don't want to waste it. And it's pretty paint. So clearly, that looks like crap. Okay, so this is not not going the way I'd hoped. I don't like it. <laughs> and so I'm going to swipe. Now that there's some silicone on there up here, obviously, 
I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to swipe down uh, that way, back over the colors, and uh, see if I can end up with like a, a regular swipe. I think, uh, I think it could work. It's like just looking all muddy. Whereas if, um, you know, just with a regular swipe, see, I mean, you can even just see, I mean, those colors are more clear. The, the actual colors come out, whereas these that I dip look like mud. Um, so, I don't like it, y'all. And I, I know might y'all might say, oh, well, you should do it all the way up. But no, I don't want to do it all the way up. I just think it looks like crap, and I don't think it's going to get any better. So, hopefully this silicone on there will pull down, pull some of that paint off, and uh, I'll be able to have a decent... Swipe. We shall see. Wow, that's different, huh? Wasn't expecting that to happen. So, let's see. I really, really wanted to show y'all a, a successful chameleon thing, but uh, I didn't, obviously. I showed you a fail that looks like I might be saving it. I'm not sure uh, of, of that technique. That So definitely go check out Jen's how-to video. i um, going to do a little tilting down here. And uh, his she was successful without a doubt um gonna have to get some of this off of there anyway and uh there's some pretty colors there's just one section it's impossible to just pour it off that i don't like but like right i like everything here except right there <laughs> There's no way to just pour that off that I know of. Um, so that's a weird little swipe there. I had no silicone except the silicone, you know, the trace amounts and then the uh, amounts that I put on for the chameleon thing. So. going for but it turned out to be something pretty cool I want that last part to come off the last little gray green corner get off of there get off of there <laughs> all right okay so not a chameleon pour but but something cool it turned out to be this is a weird little painting. Um, I think and it's bright, beautiful colors. Um, if it dries like that, I will be happy. Um, looks like there's some potential of it uh, disintegrating. I just see signs of cell instability. I feel after a while you get to notice those things. It's like a I don't know, like a, you can just tell if they, they might have the potential to disintegrate. But it sure is pretty right now. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. I sure enjoyed trying this out. Uh, it wasn't a success, but that's okay. 
it was an experiment and I hope it helped some of you all it, let me know what you think went wrong think maybe my paint was too thick I don't know and um, let me know what kind of things you'd like to see in the future we got some fun holidays coming up there's shark awareness day next week uh, there's barbershop music appreciation day next weekend and uh, teddy bear picnic day I believe is next week also so if you have ideas for how we can celebrate those holidays together just let me know be sure to subscribe like share all that fun stuff it helps my channel grow and I sure appreciate it and happy pourings <laughs>